My name is Carol Flavin and I am a railway modeller. This mountain range is in the corner of my layout at Shea and Strines and Railway Modeller commissioned an article from me about how I made it which is appearing in the magazine and this video sits alongside that article. Hello, I'm Carol Flavin. Today I'm going to talk to you about how I made a mountain range on my layout. My layout is Edgehay and Strines and it was originally an L-shaped layout in one of the bedrooms in my house which appeared in Railway Modeler in May of 2020 but we did decide to expand it and to fill the whole room so it's now a big square and the mountain range was always intended to draw the eye. So as you go in through the door into the room, it's diagonally opposite and it draws your eye across the whole layout to the other side. I originally had a waterfall diorama. This is another thing that's appeared in Railway Modeler. It was in April 2021 and it explains how I made that. And that waterfall diorama was meant to go out to Model Railway exhibitions with the other loco ladies as part of a demonstration that we were going to be doing. But when all of the Model Railway exhibitions got cancelled, I decided I was going to use it because I always liked it anyway. So it is the central part of the mountain range. And I'd worked out how I was going to lay the track because the children wanted lots of tunnels. They are kids after all, and kids like to drive trains through tunnels. Once I'd sort of worked everything out, I started to build these mountains. So I'm going to do you a video here of where I started from, how I came to put it together, and a few hints and tips on how I made it. I hope you enjoy it, and I will speak to you at the end. Because I'm a visual person, I found it easier to put the diorama in place and cover the baseboard with white paper. This allowed me to draw out my plans as I did it. So as I was laying track, deciding on what I was going to do, how I was going to put the mountains in place, how I was going to run a river off and make the harbour was much easier. This shows the progress as I carved out the terrain for the layout and started to work on building up the mountains to the height that I wanted them and how I wanted them. Here you can see considerable progress. I've started to make the lake, the bottom of the waterfall diorama. I've made a beach. I've looked at doing some of the harbour and built some harbour walls. I've created the mountains as I wanted them, added the tunnel entrances, and you can see I've started to slowly paint the walls of the cliffs in the way that I wanted them and also started to show where I wanted the waterfalls to go. I've done other videos on my YouTube channel showing how I make water and how I make the cliffs. But because the water's made from silicon, I've pinned it into place there. And this is the waterfall that you saw previously in place on the cliff face above the campsite. And here's a few more of my cliffs on this mountain that I've been told by a ge geologist look structurally correct, which I thought was quite interesting. As I said before, children like tunnels. So I went to a lot of trouble creating tunnels and track that run through these mountains coming out at almost unexpected places so that it's fun for the kids to run them in and out and enjoy seeing where the trains are going to come out at the end of it. So I've done quite a lot of tunnel portals. I particularly like the Pico ones. And I created the mountains above all of this track. There's one spot though here above a village that didn't look right with the complete towering cliffs. So I created a wooden path, wooded path, up the hillside to the top. I particularly enjoy creating water on the layout. So I made a lake at the bottom of the waterfall diorama and I use acrylic structure gel 
and paint and I build up layers. And I was particularly pleased with this because I decided to make it into a bit of a leisure lake so that there are people enjoying it. I've incorporated a few shots of the cliff faces because I thought you might be interested in seeing them. And I've chosen shots that include rock climbers because I have a son who's an enthusiastic rock climber and he's portrayed in some of these. I had long harboured an enthusiasm for running a camera train around the layout. I tried one or two cheaper cameras and I did struggle a little. So eventually I opted to buy a secondhand GoPro, which has worked extremely well with my iPad. These are some shots from the camera train. These are the mountains from the train facing outwards and upwards towards the mountains, round past the harbour and then following round past a village which is called Strines Village which isn't completely finished yet because I've got one or two other plans as well for it. This is another shot this time going the opposite way. Um, you can see me in the background what I'm doing there is controlling both the trains and watching what the camera is filming on the app on my iPad and I find that's quite useful also means that, for instance, I could stop the train there just to show you a quick glimpse of the village before carrying on round past the village and in the general direction past the harbour again and stopping at the tunnel on the other side of the mountain range. This final shot is taken from the higher level track across the bridge of the harbour and curving round past a station and just looking across the village in the general direction of the mountain range uh, where I stopped the camera. Well, I do hope you found that interesting. I really enjoyed making this mountain because I was determined to have big, high, craggy cliffs, big splashing waterfalls, a lake and a river. I loosely based it on Malham Tarn, which I do know quite well. Now, I do appreciate there are no houses or mill mills on the top of Malham Tarn. I also know that there are not tunnels and trains winding in and out of it. But nevertheless, that was my original inspiration. It did take a while to build, largely because I carved all of the foam, put it in place, and then worked on it as I went along, because this layout was my lockdown project it was quite large and I was working on it over a large number of months however I hope you found this interesting I hope you've got some ideas from it and I'm sure I'll speak to you again soon bye bye